Um, I want to thank what a great, you know, you know, great environment today. I want to thank all of you for coming. Um, we really were locked in today. You know, played a really good team. Obviously, well coached. I have a lot of respect for Seton Hall and Coach Willard. Uh, but I really want to thank you know, community students that showed up. It's finals week this week, so it's a crazy week. It's a crazy week for our guys, too. But we were locked in today. I loved our defense, you know, from the opening tip. And uh, every guy contributed. Every guy did what they needed to do. Two days to prepare for a really good team, so I was worried about that. But um, we were locked in from the opening tip, and uh, we played really well on both ends of the floor. Steve, how much was the fast start? Can you contribute to the well, I mean, the building was great. The most fans since what 2000, 2002. 2002. So the most place, you know, place was jumping. You know, from the beginning, I thought our guys got off to a great start too, which really helped you know, get the fans involved. And you know, they make it a real tough place to play. And when the rack was jumping like that, all the good things about Rutgers University we saw today here. Everyone comes together. We could do some really nice things. And my team has come together. They have to sacrifice. Guys, you know, Caleb was starting. He comes off the bench. Whatever you need, coach. You know, guys coming off the bench. Our bench gave us tremendous energy tonight. They gave us some great minutes while our starters were resting. You know, and, and I thought really you know, just a great team win in a great environment. So getting off to a good start was, was important. Steve, defensively, what was the key to the game plan? Look like you extended the pressure to half court and you ran some different guys and bigger guys in power. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, you know, we only had two days, so you can't reinvent the wheel. But we were real connected on the defensive end. So we had a lot of switches if we had to. You know, I thought we were, you know, real aggressive in all of our coverages. You know, they got really good players. Um, I didn't think they, you know, got comfortable looks, a couple open threes. I didn't love, but, uh, you know, I thought, thought for the most part we, you know, we were real aggressive on that end of the floor. And everyone subbed in, did a great job, everyone. So we got a lot of different looks for all their guards. Can you take us through the two uh, alley oops early in the game and what happened to the crowd? Uh, you know, it was just the first alley oop. That was just a play. We came out in the huddle. We said we we're going to run it. If it was there, throw it. You know, Miles found me. And then the second one, Gio just found me from like half court, tremendous pass. He put it up there for me to go get it, and I just came down, and the place exploded. Do you have a sense, and do you think you have a sense of how big this game is as far as tradition in New Jersey? Mm -hmm. Seahawks said that maybe some of their players didn't realize the magnitude of it. Yeah, you know, our guys were driven. They were determined, um, you know, um, we're a good basketball program. I think you saw today New Jersey basketball is good. New Jersey basketball is good, and, um, you know, in the environment. Again, and these guys all played together. I think they knew, you know, when you're playing a ranked team with the best guard in the country, you know, against a team like that, you, you got to be ready to play, and we are ready to play. Steve, so following up the atmosphere here and then also playing FDU today, how, how much – Yeah, I mean, I just think when you get two really good programs, you know, we're, we're getting there too. And, and uh, um, you know, bring all the people in the basketball community, you know, here to, to Rutgers, vice versa. When we go to Seton Hall, it's good. You get to see some really good basketball. And hopefully people keep coming and watch, you know, some really good programs as we continue to grow. Kevin uh, Willard said Powell uh, is being treated for a serious concussion. Did any of you guys see any, anything from him that indicated he wasn't quite right on the floor? I saw him holding his head. Yeah, I said just saw him grabbing his head. Okay. Yeah. Praying for a speedy recovery. Yeah, I hope he's all right. He's a heck of a competitor and a really good player. You never want to see anyone, uh, you know, be injured for a game. So I hope he gets he gets better soon. I know you have the, the one of the one game at a time mantra, but can, can this something like this be a turning point, be a spark for? for yeah, I mean, you know, we're getting there. We had the most people ever. You know, place was rocking. I think we got a good team. You know, this university is exploding. I keep saying that. Um, you know, it was nice to have everybody come together. You know, I know my son was even just took a final and he ran over and ran over and <laughs> students were there. And, you know, all the different things that, you know, have to happen to make a place loud. And, you know, you got to have great administrators. You got to have great fans. You got to have cheerleaders, the bands, you know, all the different things that, that go into this thing. And then you got to have a team that's willing to sacrifice and take on roles and, pass the ball and, you know, and to play with great energy, you know, and, and to do the things. And they practice hard. The last three, four practices, they've been really focused and, 
you know, really trying to find themselves. So I think these are great things. And I said, we got great momentum here at, at Rutgers. We really do academically, basketball wise, athletic wise. So there's a lot of good things happening. So we can continue that trend. See, what do you think of the way your players attack the glass and also the 50-50 balls in this game? Yeah, I mean, I thought we did an awesome job. How about the backboard numbers? You know, they're big. They're one of the biggest teams in the country, you know, physically. And, uh, you know, I thought from the start we really, you know, that was a very much a concern for me. After watching all the tapes of them, they, they, they tend to get a lot of long rebounds too because they're so tall. Um, you know, but I thought we were locked in and we stayed attached, you know, the whole time. and helped us run, especially in the first half too, those long rebounds. So you've kind of mentioned the Classy's experience as an impact on – Well, I mean, you know, he's, he's just mature. You know, he gives us a maturity about him, and you know, he can really shoot the ball. I think as good a shooter um, as there is, so we could post him. We could do a lot of different things. But uh, his maturity is really, you know, has really helped. He gets locked in. He comes to practice every day. The t they love him. His teammates. I think these guys are really, you know, in, in, enjoying enjoying what he brings, and he's figuring it out too. He's figuring it out too with a new team and stuff. So he's, he's been a nice addition. Guys, what sure. was it, any of the players, what was it like uh, collecting that trophy? Gio has done it before. This is new with you guys. What was that like? Mm, it, that was was like it, storm. it was unbelievable, you know. Last year we dropped this game, and, you know, it was a hard fought game. But this year, you know, being a Jersey kid, this game meant a lot to me. And getting that win out and pulling it out just meant the world to me. For Gio and Ron, I'm just curious. Did it sound louder than, than usual that they did sneak a few more people in there? Did, did you tell them <laughs> um, Yeah, it was, it was definitely really loud. Um, you know, we really appreciate that a lot. You know, all the fans came out, and, uh, you know, student section was great. And um, it just felt right. You know, it felt right. It went so right. Yeah, as you said it all, you know, the students came with great energy. Not only the students, all the fans in general, there's, like, times where you can't even hear the play being called. You can't hear screen coverage. So that's the type of atmosphere we want to make regular at the rack, and I think the students are doing just that. To hear the crowd the way it was to have a win over a team that was predicted to win the Big East, what does this tell you about where the team is right now, where the program is right now? We're um, I think I think we're in a good spot. Um, you know, we got to continue to get better. Um, you know, we're going to enjoy the win, but at the same time, there's a, a bigger goal in mind. We're mm -hmm. on to the next one. Yeah, but Gio says, you know, this is a big win. We're going to enjoy it today, but you know, it's on to the next one after this. You know, trying to go one to know each and every day, whether it's practice, off day, lift, film. Trying to go one to know every single day. Well, you have said several times about enjoying the journey and the ups and downs with a young mm -hmm. team. Where is this particular leg on the journey? No, I mean, it just uh, we just had a four-game gauntlet. Like, we had a tough stretch here. And, uh, you know, just think if they continue with the right approach to practice and getting better every day. I mean, we're young, but, you know, we have some pieces. And, you know, I we'll have to put the right pieces in at times. And they have to sacrifice. I mean, that's part of it. But it's, it's all part of a journey. Man. You have to go through some ups and downs in order to get better. And luckily, these guys stay the course. They get better. And... Uh, if they continue to do that, it'll be a real, really fun journey. For any of the players, Miles talked about after the Wisconsin game that that was a needed game and you guys got it. How much more important was this one going in off the win Wednesday night and knowing that the atmosphere was going to be like? Well, we were just trying to carry momentum from Wednesday night and bring it down to the court here. You know, Wednesday night I felt like we played terrific defense and tonight or today too, I thought we played really good defense. So we're just trying to carry on the momentum, you know. Good. We'll really appreciate you, you guys coming. Yes, yes, Thank yes, you yes, very yes, much. Yes, yes.